Hello everyone, this is MJ. You are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Let's talk about week one of June on the Range. And remember, before we get started, give me a giddy up. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so I hope everyone is having an awesome June. I hope everyone is reading good, good books and good, good stories, no matter what event you are participating, even if you're not participating in an event. Summer reading is here and it is an amazing, amazing time. So I feel as if I'm not that accomplished this week because um, I finished two books. I did one uh, ebook and one audiobook, and I am trudging my way through Lonesome Dove. So let's talk about them. Okay, so I have my Goodreads pulled up. So let's talk about what I finished first. So first up was True Grit. And that was an audiobook that I purchased on Audible way before, no, right before um, the Read What You Own Challenge. And the reason I purchased this is on the recommendation of Greg from Another Bibliophile Reads said that Donna Tart is the narrator. Donna Tartt from The Secret History. True Grit is by Charles Portis, and it was fantastic. I gave it five stars on Goodreads. My review says, True Grit is an amazing story, and what a narration by Donna Tartt. Like Shane, this is a book I will be revisiting in the future. It was just fantastic. So if you don't know the storyline of True Grit, um, basically... 14 year old girl, um, woman's up and finds her father's killer. Her father was shot dead, cold in the forehead. And, um, she wants to find who did it and she wants to retrieve her father's body. And it's a whole storyline around this and the characters, the narration that Donna Tartt does is like out of this world. Like, has she ever done anything like this? Because she was really, really good at it. Like almost as if she's done acting classes before. I don't know. But if you have read the same, or if you have consumed the same version of True Grit, let me know. I know the um, physical copy carries over the same way, but with the audiobook, I get more of that performance. And sometimes I appreciate that. So True Grit, five stars from me, short audiobook, three and a half hours, something, no, not three and a half hours, maybe five hours, but it's short and it's wonderful. Take it from me. All right. Then we finished blaze exclamation point zombies over yonder. Zombies over yonder is a Kindle unlimited book. It's number six in a series. And I didn't read the first five. This was for criminality's Patreon. Um, but you kind of just jumped in and you got to know the characters. Uh, it's a husband and wife. It's JD and Kate. And they, it seems as if they go on these adventures together. Kate could be my sister. The way she talks, the way she handles herself is very MJ-like. Very strong. Very mouthy. Likes to throw a little cuss word here and there. And her energy, I completely vibed with. I almost got like romancing the stone type of quality with these two. Very energetic, very charismatic, very adventurous, very funny, very loving. Loved, loved, loved it. The story of this is that there is a mine and um, the mine and basically the town is taken over by this new this newcomer called the Count. I wonder what he is. And the mine um, uh, is run by zombies basically. So we have a paranormal Western and I'll tell you what, I loved it. I loved it so much that, um, I gave it four stars. I didn't love it not that much to give it five stars, but the combination of JD and Kate is just chef's kiss. I love the two of them together. I absolutely loved it. So, um, if you're looking for something different for June on the range and something short, I think this is only like a three hour, uh, Kindle book. Um, a hundred and some pages, but it's just one of those good summer frilly, um, adventure stories. And you don't have to do a deep dive and do a, cr a, a critical critique of it. There's nothing about that. It's just F U N fun. And that was 
Blaze Zombies Over Yonder, and that's by Stephen Mertz, M-E-R-T-Z. All right, so those are the two that I read. Then I started Lonesome Dove. So my reading plan for Lonesome Dove pretty much has blown up. Um, I was going to try and do, you know, so many pages a day, but it got to, um, I got hair in my face. It got to regimented and I said, nope. I'm going to do Lonesome Dove during the week, and then I'm going to do other fun stuff on the weekends. So for Lonesome Dove, I didn't read a stitch of anything yesterday. Um, just bit too life. Life is too much right now, and I didn't even get a chance to like sit and read. So um, I'm only on chapter ten, which is way behind where I need to be. But um, hopefully, I'm going to pick up today. I'm going to pick up tomorrow. Then on the weekends, I'm putting Lonesome Dove down. And I'm picking up other things. So one, so far with Lonesome Dove, I'm enjoying it. Augustus is just like the best. Um, I have the physical book. I have the ebook, And I also have the audio book from the library in case I want to dip into it while I'm in the car. It's working out perfectly. Um, the audio book that I have is not the dry one that a lot of people have commented on. It's from 2014. And it's actually pretty entertaining. And the jokes carry over for sure. Um, so that's where I am with Lonesome Dove. So hopefully by this time next week, I'll be more advanced into my reading. And do I love the story? I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I think it's um, quite the adventure. I love the interaction of all of the characters. But it's, again, it's one of those where you're just listening, reading, and enjoying. Not doing a deep dive. Okay, then I was able to start Lone Women over the weekend. Lone Women is by Victor Laval. Um, that is a physical book that I have, and it's um, a little bit of uh, the, the, uh, an adventure into the West with a little bit of something going on. There's some kind of paranormal something or other going on, and so far I am enjoying it. I'm not into it very far at all, maybe like 10%, but um, it's good. It's good. So I have that to look forward to this weekend as well. So that's basically my reading for this week, which is kind of meh, but... I'm happy with it, you know, because Lonesome Dove is huge. Uh, the other thing is that I've got a ton, a ton of books coming in the mail. Oh my gosh. And you guys are awesome. I went to the post office yesterday and I'm thinking, oh, I have like an, an you know, like an eBay or a, a whatnot book to pick up. And here I have like packages from like you guys, from my fellow creators and my subscribers. And I'm so grateful and thankful for you. So stay tuned for... Another future book haul where I'll be thanking you and shouting all of you out publicly. Um, so thank you for that. It really, really, really did make my day. And I appreciate, um, you know, the, the notes and what everyone, um, you know, just the gesture. The world needs more kindness. And you guys really uplifted me when I needed to be yesterday. So, and what else? Um, this weekend. Oh my gosh. You all need to tune in on Saturday. I'm going to be talking to Mike from Mike's Book Reviews. Yeah. He's really awesome and really nice. And we're going to talk about his booktube experience. So I'm going to be asking him the usual questions. And then I'm going to be asking all of you for questions to ask Mike. So if you are subscribed to Mike's Book Reviews, if you don't know who Mike's Book Reviews uh, channel is, I will link it down below. Make sure that you check it out. And hopefully we'll see you on Saturday, Saturday morning, 10 a.m., Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, everyone, that's it here from me. It's a shorty, and that's okay, because I hit you with some long videos this week. All right, I hope everyone is doing well. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself so you can take care of others, and I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now.